Welcome back to the garage here at Basin Motorsports. I'm Kane and behind the camera. Today I'm going to go ahead and make a cover for the intake boot right here. You can see everything else in there is either fiberglass or carbon fiber and covered in a blue vinyl. And now I need to make a cover for the intake boot to make that match. Okay, so here's the plan we're going to do. Now I have the coupler taking off. I cleaned it and then wrapped it in blue painter's tape. Now this is going to act as a barrier, a disposable barrier, basically, to make sure that the carbon, as I wrap it, is not going to stick to the boot. It shouldn't anyway, but we'll just give it a boundary layer to be taken off later. Now, what's holding it up? This is just a wooden ruler I've wrapped in tape. It'll be, uh, again, the tape is disposable. It'll rip right off if there is any resin. And then I've just suspended it between some 2x6s and 2x4s that I had. And then the black plastic always catches extra resin. So I'm going to wrap this in carbon. And it doesn't matter what color because, it's again, it's going to be wrapped in vinyl at the end. So I think I'll probably just grab one either. It's either red or blue, I think, is what I have left. But it doesn't matter. So I'm going to wrap that around. And I'm going to tuck on the edges inside and use uh, clothing pins to keep it in there. Now, once it's wrapped around tight, I'm going to use two layers of carbon on this. So I'm going to wrap it around once. I'm going to fill it with resin, let it be uh, nice and wet and gooey and drippy. I'm going to add a second layer of resin to it. And then from there, I'm going to let it dry out and then we'll start cutting it to shape. I imagine I'm going to have to make some recesses in here for the clamps, the hose clamps that go on all sides, but we'll deal with that at the end. Let's get it made first. All right, now we're going to move to the next step, and that's going to be to add some resin to the top of the piece. Now, this was the piece I did last night. It was two rounds of fiber, or the cloth, you would say, and that has completely gone in and... I would say settled, if you will, cured out. It's still slightly tacky, which is what exactly I want to put another round of resin on. So I'm gonna add at least, I only wanna say, maybe one, two, three coats of resin on top of this. I'm gonna do, uh, let's see, I did three ounces last night for two coats of the fiber or the cloth. And I'm gonna do about an ounce and a half ounce of hardener for this piece. Once I do this, I'll then just let it sit probably maybe another overnight trip, and then we'll pick this up tomorrow. Now here's our part after it has cured completely. Now this is three layers of top resin to give it a finish so I can, really what I was targeting was not being able to feel the carbon cloth. So I can just in a certain kind of spots fit or feel some of the striations here, a little bit of bump, and that's exactly what I'm hoping for. So this is cured for two days now after I put on the last coat. Now I need to take out the silicone boot out of the center, so I'm gonna just kind of dismantle this apparatus, take the ruler out that was holding it up, and just start cutting this out. Now if I show you, if you look down in here, you know this the boot is an oval when it goes to the ram air or the intake part that comes from the filter. So knowing I have to look down on this, I'm going to cut this cover roughly in this range. Here's where it's gonna be about the middle of it, and I wanna go a little bit beyond it, but not all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark myself a line, straight line across this as my mark to where to cut this. So everything below that is scrap, it will be tossed out, and everything above that will be the part I keep and I work on to get all the way through vinyl wrap. Now the part un unburied, I guess you'd say, from the carbon, this is what I originally had intended. So you have your silicone coupler that goes on. Obviously this goes to the intake manifold. This goes to the oval piece that goes, I guess you'd say your ram air from your filter. And then this is going to go on top of that. Now I've cut it out so that I can fit this over and kind of turn it on the side and slip it over top. What I want to do first is one, to make sure it actually is going to work the way I want. So I'm going to put this back on the car without the hose clamps, because I know the hose clamps are going to cause a problem. And then I just want to make sure that this is actually going to slide over from the side and over the top as I planned. Once I know that for sure, then I can work on 
cutting out these sections where the hose clamps are going to fit over and then make sure that I can fit it on after that. Then we'll start prepping for vinyl. So there's a look at our cover now on. So it does fit. Obviously my throttle body sensor there does fit around that, which is definitely a good thing. And otherwise it fits. Now you can see that you can't see the silicone boot or the silicone piece underneath, which is what I intended. You'd, if you get down and look, it will be wrapped in blue so you can't see the red. And then of course on the other side, same story. You can't see the red fits over the intake. Obviously this piece here, it fits over that and fits over everything else around the throttle body. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take that back off, throw the clamps on to where they're going to be, and then we'll decide how we're going to adjust that. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the, probably going to cut the uh, cover to go around them. I'm just not sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet. Time to think it over. All right, change of plans. Rather than cut out to go around all of the clamps, the bodies of the clamps there for the worm grief, they actually fit over that. I was surprised that cover is a little bit more flexible than I planned for. And I think I'm just going to leave it. That is actually over the clamps. So I'm going to sand that, do some body work on it, just do some filler on it to uh, even out some of those striations in the carbon fiber. And then we're going to wrap it as is. And then that will match everything else. All right, so here's going to look at our piece as we're closing in on the finish line. So I've got it already cut. Everything is sanded. I have one layer of filler on it. And then it's sanded out through 1500 grit. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint a black base coat on this just to cover everything up. And then I'm going to re-sand it out to 1500 grit. And then we'll go ahead and put the vinyl on it. All right, so here's going to be our finished product. Carbon fiber's all done, all sanded, painted, re-sanded, cleaned with alcohol, and then wrapped. All those hours are worth of work just for this little piece. So let's go ahead and throw it on the car. There you have it. There's going to be our finished piece. Now if I back up a little bit, you'll see that everything now is wrapped in the KPMF Opulent Indigo Blue. So you've got your side pieces, your brake master cylinder, reservoir cover, your intake, or your coil covers, everything on the side. So now that all matches, that's the look I've been going after for almost a year, trying to get just some semblance to match the blue flames on the car. So with that, we're going to wrap this project up. Now that the engine bay is completely done, I am done for this winter on making covers. And I've also got a couple more pieces on the interior I'm going to work on. And that's it for the Corvette for this year. Now, if you have any questions on how I made anything or any of the materials I've used, you can ask questions down in the comments section or you can look in the video description. I will have links out to all the materials I've used for the carbon fiber, resin, uh, painters tape. I mean anything I've basically touched or used to create this or any of the parts they are pretty similar Just go ahead and check the video description. Otherwise. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. We'll see you next time